Today we focused on uh, looking at the distinctive features of independent versus dependent probability. And so we did several examples in class in which we found the independent probability of a situation and then compared it to an identical situation in which we calculated dependent probability. So your homework tonight was just a wide variety of either independent or dependent probability problems. First set of problems talks about being with replacement. With replacement tells me that I'm not going to change my sample space. So I'm dealing with independent probability. So the probability of finding a heart would be 13 out of the 52 cards, which I know is equivalent to 1 fourth. Then a club. Well, then tells me I'm multiplying, and since a club is an entire suit that is 13 out of 52, that would also simplify to 1 fourth. So the probability of getting a heart, then a club, would be 1 over 16, which would equal 0 0.0625, which is going to equal 6.25. Let's look at an example without replacement. Without replacement tells me I am not putting the card back into the deck. Once I draw it, it stays out. So the probability of a diamond, then a spade. Again, I have 13 diamonds in a suit of 52 cards. So that's going to simplify to 1 over 4. And I have 13 spades, but if I took one card out, I no longer have 52 cards, but rather I have 13 spades and 51 cards. And so we multiply across. We're going to end up with 13 over 204. 13 is a prime number, so I don't think anything's going into either one of those. So we will simply convert that into a frac or a decimal, which will equal 0 0.0637, which is going to equal 6.37%. I think we've done enough practice with this to where that should be a good kickstart for you for this evening. And uh, we will go over more examples tomorrow between the touchstone and the study guide that you start.